You like what he did on the weekend? Yeah, I'm really liking what I've seen. He just looks really certain with his play, whether it be his, his defensive decisions coming up out of the line and shutting that, that attack down from the opposition or, or just getting involved, just, just going looking for it. And we, I mean, this is just some of the stuff that he was getting through. The ball's not necessarily coming to him, but he's just providing options in and around Izzy there. The ball's available. He's just seeing it and he's just going. And that's what you want. You just want to, you want to play up tempo and there's periods of the, of the game where you want to speed it up and when you want to slow it down. But here he is then, again, just hitting, just being authorative and just hitting the line. Here, you know that he's under pressure and he's got to buy himself a bit more time, I, like a, a metre roll. That's I, want to, I want to roll that back if we can and have another look at it because you watch Michael Hooper's clean out on that. He's the best clean out merchant we've got in the game. He's unbelievable. Does like a single a clean out. Single he? man clean out and, and Corbett worked to get back in the ball. When I saw him start playing for the, the Rebels this year, it was yeah. like he's got a lot of work to do. But his rate of improvement has been unbelievable. I, mean, I think he's in great form. Yeah, I mean, the one we just saw there, he's, he's just run 50 metres back to support Bernard Foley, who would have been isolated otherwise. Yeah. But not only on that, he, he had effort on effort and then made another sort of 20 metres with ball yeah. in hand. Like, that's fantastic. Well, you, do you, reckon, well, do you, you watch a lot of league. Do you reckon yeah. it's fair to say that he's picked up a lot of those traits out of league? You know how you get wingers scooting at dummy half, picking yeah. going, yep. taking some of the pressure off the forwards? Yep. A lot of that's starting well, to transfer into this as well. The wingers in rugby league have to basically own the first three carries. And I've watched him from when he started at the Tigers as an 18-year-old. Like, he's been a super Superstar. So it's no surprise, but we'd speak about ground at 15, like uh, when we were playing, who yeah. are the hardest blokes yeah. to hit. He's smashing blokes. Like he's mm. hurting every person yeah. he tackles. Yeah, Drew and I were there as well. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> the, um, the, the other thing that I really liked was that our wingers work um, off the kickoffs yeah. as well. I thought, you know, we, we got this combination at last of the technical element of kicking and the tactical thing. Absolutely perfect. Tactically, we want to put it on that bloke. Technically, the kick's perfect and the chase is perfect. Reese Hodge did a fantastic chase that leads to a turnover there. We get, obviously, on the other side as well, same thing. Technically, the kickoff is absolutely perfect. And this is a great hit. Sure, Oof. it's high, oh, but it's heavy. It's not no, high, it's not high. high. And then he cheats and gets the ball on the ground. I don't mind. Yeah, it's a smart like play. Like we could reach the West. He oh. melts into the ground. Yeah. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> they just melt into the turf. Creased. Oh. Absolutely oh. buckled. And is it? And I love our yeah, kickoffs the... variety in our cave. Like we saw when Czech yeah. first came to the Wallabies, we just kicked to Izzy the flop, Izzy the flop. Now we can go long right, long left. We've got a lot of options. Yeah, there's some good, good exhibition. Long, from... t- long term, is that his spot, Drew? Because we're through to the viewers as well. Get your take first. Yeah, I mean, I've been really impressed by him. And and, he's, and what you want from a guy just coming into this arena for the first time is for a guy to take his opportunities. He looks comfortable. He looks like he's played more tests than he has. And that's what you want in any test player, let alone a, 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 like a genuine genuine finisher. Well, here's what the fans, is their take on uh, if they think Marika's a long-term solution on the wing. Whoa! 86-14. Yeah. They all want a bit of Marika Korobiti. And I reckon what was done really well with him as a as a Wallaby, was giving him the time to get in the squad, end of tour last year, mm. didn't get any time in the June series, but got brought into the squad, got brought in around it. It's like a perfect lead-in for a new player into the squad to just get almost 12 months before you play your first test. I'm just curious about that 14%. Was that all Cameron Shepard sitting home? <laughs> 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 Shepard was pretty outspoken about Marika at the start. Remember, he, was, he rubbished him. Yeah, he yeah, did. Mate, yeah. he rubbished did him he? straight off the bat. You're watching yeah. Shep, he's turned it around. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's yeah. turned it around. <laughs>